This program is part of Inside Opioid Addiction, Examining the Epidemic, an ongoing KET initiative funded in part by the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky. For a long time, any sort of drug addiction problem was sort of viewed as an inner city problem. And I think that with the current opioid crisis, you know, that's happening, I mean, it is touching every single place, small towns. As this crisis has spread to smaller communities, you can't help but know, um, you know, someone who's been through these issues. So with Hazelden, Betty Ford, seven counties, we've embarked on uh, this relationship uh, in what we're calling a five-point plan. Uh, the first plan, part of that five-point plan is about mobilization. What we're doing here today at the Zonton Fire Department is a community mobilization event, which is extremely important to really bring together different segments of the community uh, around a common cause and a common solution, really providing tools and resources and connections to each other to be able to fight this disease, to support the individuals, and to heal as a community. Addiction is a disease of isolation, so many times that individual suffering from this disease does so in isolation, alienated from friends and family and community. Recovery is the opposite, and recovery requires someone to be engaged with other people, to be engaged with structure and support and accountability. Someone who can really help support you, but also knows where you've been and can help you get through uh, situations where you may not see as clearly as they might having been through that. Uh, recovery occurs in the context of community, so it's vital to create a community and an environment that's roomy and all-inclusive and welcoming so people can go from that disease of isolation into the support necessary in a recovery community. We, we don't talk about recovery. We don't talk about addiction. It's not something that we have conversations about. It's still a really, as much as we talk about it, um, we, we talk about it with talking points or we talk about it um, in this non-personal kind of way, but actually having this real conversation about drug use and recovery that, that's authentic and where people can just say, hey, this is what I've got going on in my life, this is what's happening with me, and not having to worry about the blowback or all the stigma or shame related to that. We don't really have those kinds of conversations. So. The most important thing that we can do is to educate the people, educate the community that this is a disease. It's a disease just like cancer, just like high blood pressure. Uh, it's a disease like uh, diabetes. And it has to be treated like a disease. And if we can get to those and convince those that suffer from this disease of addiction that it is a disease, it automatically reduces the stigma and the barrier because now they know there is something wrong with them. So it makes more sense to them now that they have to reach out and get doctor's help and, and get support help and get therapy uh, without any stigma, without any embarrassment. So the, I would say the most important thing is to let them know, let people know, let, our, let the victims know that they do have a disease and it's okay to reach out and get somebody to help you. This program is part of Inside Opioid Addiction, Examining the Epidemic, an ongoing KET initiative funded in part by the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky.